Hello Python programmers. So this is video fourth of our Ursana Python first person shooter game. And in this video, we'll discuss how to switch weapons for our player. So till now we have discussed these things. We have uh, created our player. We have created the environment for our player. And by environment, I mean the sky and the platform. We have also created some walls to give the feel of a room. And then we have also given a basic weapon to our player. Okay, so weapon of my choice was knife. So till now the user can only use the player can only use a knife. Okay, now in this video, we'll see how we can switch weapons, how we can give multiple weapons to our player. Okay, so I have three weapons in my mind, you can see on my screen. So we'll be assigning these weapons to our player. Okay, so let me quickly copy paste this code so that I can make some changes. First weapon is uh, this. Everything will remain the same. Parent is uh, camera UI. The scale will change. The scale is 0 0.9. I'll provide you with the models. The model will also change. Let me go back. These are the assets. This is the FBX file. You have to copy this path. So let me quickly copy. It should be two slashes and the file name is let's copy with the file extension. Yeah, we'll do the same for the texture and let me do one thing. Let me copy paste this code real quick and then I will explain you that how these things are happening. Okay. Just, okay. So I have copy pasted the code. Let me quickly explain you. Then we'll move on to the switching part. So we have two weapons here that we have just added this and this. I won't name it because I don't know what will trigger the YouTube algorithm. So yeah, uh, the parent is camera UI. It will be same. The scale will change because it will depend on the model size. The model file location will also change. Texture file location will uh, texture file location will also change. The position will change a slight bit depending on the weapon. Okay, the rotation will also change. And for now, the visibility will remain false. Okay, I'll show you that uh, how we'll change it to true. But for now, the visibility will be false. Okay, this should be capital F. Yep. So all the weapons are imported. And for now, the visibility is false. Now let me do one thing. Let me create a variable self dot weapons it is self yeah self dot weapons and what is this self dot weapons it's a list of all our weapons okay okay so this is the list with all our weapons name then self dot current weapon current weapon is equal to zero so for now the player is having no weapon it should be a dot here yeah. So for now, the player is having no weapon. Then what we'll do is we'll call a self dot change uh, weapon function. Okay. Uh, let's go to the self dot change weapon real quick. So def change weapon. And what are the parameters inside? Only self. Okay. Then for x comma y in enumerates. Uh, we are basically enumerating on our self dot weapons uh, list. Okay, so self dot weapon. And I know that you must be confused that what are these X and Y values and how the change of weapon will be happening. Just give me a second. I'll show you in just a bit. Okay, so let me do one thing. Okay, let me do one thing. Let me show you that how we'll uh, address the changes. So we'll create a function called input itself comma keys so this will register whatever keys are pressed on your keyboard or on your mouse so try self dot current weapon is equal to int key minus one because this is a list and the indexing of list start from zero if you want to know why i have a special video for that just a small plugin anyways uh, so after that, we'll call the self dot change weapon. Just give me a second. I'll explain you. Okay. This may sound very confusing, but it is very simple. Okay. Except we'll simply pass. Okay. Now this is where the changes will be registered. Okay. So if the key is equal to equal to scroll up. Okay. 
so we are using the mouse scroll up and down for the changing of the weapon so if uh, we are having scroll up with no spaces uh, sorry with one space scroll up we'll do self dot current weapon is equal to inside brackets self dot current weapon plus one okay and what will plus one do it will move ahead in our list so if we were on knife it will go to the next weapon okay so uh, self dot current weapon plus one and divided by the length of self weapon then we'll go back to our self dot change weapon to register the changes self dot change weapon you do not need to worry if you're not able to understand fully i'll once again explain it to you after i've written the code so if self dot key sorry elif self dot key is equal to equal to scroll up uh, i'll do one thing i'll copy paste the code from here only so elif uh, if it's scroll down scroll down the current change weapon is equal to current change uh, weapon minus one so we'll go downwards let's say we are on this weapon it will go back to knife okay uh, then the change of weapon yeah 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 okay so uh the key part is done let me quickly explain you once again so whenever a user or a player scrolls up on the mouse what this will do is self dot current weapon is equal to self dot current weapon plus one the value of this current weapon will change divided by the length of self dot weapons list okay then we'll go to change weapon now what will happen in self dot change weapon we'll basically change the visibility from false to true okay so let me do that real quick so yeah everything looks good so what we have done here is we have enumerated or we have iterated on our self dot weapons list and the values are x and y x is the index and y is the weapon okay so if x is equal to self dot current weapon so if this is the current weapon i have already explained you that how this scroll will work or how the uh, values will be changed in our current weapon so if x is equal to self dot current weapon then y dot visibility what is y y is this element from self dot weapon so if the specific weapon is selected we'll change the visibility from false to true okay as simple as that let me quickly run and show you okay so uh, this is not working perfectly this doesn't look good uh, let me close this okay so i guess the model calling is not working okay so i don't know why it was not working on the first to go but now yeah <laughs> as you can see the weapons are changing this is uh, this is a knife this is our second weapon and this is a third weapon okay so i don't know why it was not working on the first try but as you have seen i have made no changes on the code there is no change in the code the code is same but now the weapons are working there you can see so yeah this was it this was a short video in which i have shown you that how you can give multiple weapons to your player and switch between weapons okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture bye bye